Okay everybody, welcome to linuxhint.com YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how to install TeamViewer on your Ubuntu. So TeamViewer, it allows you to connect remotely to other computer systems that are not even near to you. So for example, if you are in one city and there is a computer which is another, in another city or even in another country, you can actually connect to that and use that computer remotely uh, and that's what basically is the part of this uh, team viewer okay so that is the role that this software plays so now what we're going to do uh, we're going to install team viewer uh, on your on our ubuntu system so how do we do that so first of all uh, you have to go to your uh, favorite browser so in the search bar uh, we'll just simply write here team viewer okay we hit enter and now it would basically search it from the Google and we can go on this page download team viewer now so it would take us uh, to a page which looks like so you need to select Linux from here so after selecting come down here and now you can see that you have different options so our operating system is Ubuntu okay so for that we are going to download it uh, there are two options 32 bits and 64 bit i know my system is 64 bit and if you don't know about your system then what you can do is that you can go to settings all right and in settings basically you can go to the details all right and in here you can see that uh, my OS type is basically 64 bit. Okay, if you have here like 32 bit, then uh, you need to download the 32 bit. My computer is 64 bit, so I would download this 64 bit. So I click on the download button, and now it would basically uh, tell me to download it. So I would just click on this save file and I would hit OK. And now you can see here it would start to download it, and quickly my internet was fast. So it has downloaded it immediately. Okay, so now we'll, I press on the four, and now you can see that I have this dev file uh, in my downloads folder. So now, in order to install it, what I have to do is I press Control Alt T as we always do to open up our terminal. Uh, we zoom in a little bit, and after zooming in, now what we have to do is that we have to go to the folder where basically our dot dev file for team viewer resides okay so now what we do would write here cd and then we write here downloads we hit enter and now we are inside the download so if we ls here you can see that we have here team viewer 14.5 uh, and then the dot dev file okay so that is the file that we need to okay so now what we would do would write here sudo and then we'd write here d package then we'd write here negative i and then after that we'd write here the dot deb file name which is team viewer underscore 14.5.1691 underscore amd64 dot deb so this is a quite a long file name so what you can do is that you can just press t e a m and then you can basically press tab and it would auto complete this file name okay so now if we hit enter it is going to ask us for the password so we are going to put in our password uh, and we hit enter and now you can see that it is basically unpacking and installing team viewer for us okay so we'll wait and now you can see that team viewer has been installed successfully okay so now in order to open up the team viewer what we would do would go to our application bar and we'd search here team viewer and now you can see we have here team viewer 14 installed so we hit this icon and now uh, basically it would start the team viewer so first time when you're running a team viewer uh, it would give you the license agreement that you have to accept so just click on accept license agreement and now you can see that basically it has opened up this team viewer for you okay so that's how you basically uh, install team viewer on your system if you want to make it work then let me show you that right now I am on a virtual machine uh, on my Windows operating system. So let's say that if I want to connect uh, my Ubuntu operating system with my Windows operating system, 
uh, I can do that okay so how would I do that I would basically uh, copy this ID in fact I cannot copy it because this is inside the virtual machine so, so I would just basically type in here the partner ID so I'd write here one six zero one nine nine six three five five okay so uh, let me just cut it and let me just paste it here and now I will click on the connect button all right so when I will click on the connect button it would basically ask me for the password okay so I need to put in the password so the password is 88Z3SY all right let me just type in here 88Z3SY and now if I click on log on uh, in a while you'd be able to see my Ubuntu system this one uh, which I which I would be able to control from my windows all right so here you can see it would take a while and now you can see if I like make it like little let me just uh, make these windows small here here you can see that this is my virtual machine and here you can see uh, that basically this is my Ubuntu uh, operating system that uh, we have connected using uh, team weaver from windows okay so similarly you can do that too maybe you are in uh, one part of the world and the other person is in another so let's say you are in united states and your friend is in china and he has got some problem in its computer or uh, system then what you can do is that you can use team weaver and you can connect with your friend in China and basically you can operate his or her computer uh, in by sitting in United States all right so I hope you have got the point you have learned something new written articles you can visit our website linuxin.com and I will see you in the next video